Alrighty. Good afternoon. Welcome back to Bean Scottish Fitness. I'm heading to the gym. So today is going to be rep bench day. Uh, so it's not as enjoyable as lift heavy stuff bench day. Because this is more of an endurance type exercise. And endurance are painful over a long period of time. But they're really good for you. And they definitely help you with your overhaul strength and uh, some cardio. So remember, my goal is by soon this time next year to rep 225 by 35 reps. So this is more of endurance. It is a strength, but it's a strength and endurance competition. I think uh, last week I did 21, I did 20 on my uh, burnout, on my heavy lift. First time I did push-ups, I stopped at 33. The second time I did it, I stopped at 40. And the whole idea is try to get more and more reps as I go through it. It really comes down to breathing and be able to just keep the blood flowing in that. So it is, it is a good exercise for me to do. So on my Tuesday bench day, it's reps. And on my Friday, it's uh, heavy singles if I have a spotter. The last time I couldn't go too heavy because I didn't have anybody to spot. So what I did is I did a burnout at two and a quarter afterwards. So I was making adjustments and still getting the best out of your workout. Because fitness is a lot of different adjustments. You find things that work and then when they stop working, you got to change it up a little bit. But your basics will always get you results. What are the basics? Well, rest nutrition and proper exercise and the tenacity and the discipline to go into the gym you know or if you don't go to the gym like I did yesterday I had weights I lifted outside and I did a lot of activities outside also I have the benefit of my job consists of me lifting a lot so that helps but you still won't get the uh high quality you'll get in the gym because you can really focus your direction. You know, you can focus on just arms. You can focus on just back, just chest, just legs. You can really kind of narrow down to those things and that helps you out. And that's that's one of the benefits of that. Working construction, you're going to have all-around strength. You know, whether you're doing concrete, asphalt, carpentry, whatever. Farming, same thing. You're going to have all-around strength because it's a very physical, intensive job. You know, adverse to somebody who's working behind a desk, that's when that gym time gets extremely expensive or extremely important because you're sitting down a lot. When I worked retail, although I walked a lot, it wasn't, it wasn't doing too much lifting. Not since the TVs got to weigh only about five pounds. Well, back in the day when the TVs were in glass and they weighed anywhere from 95 to 300 pounds, yeah, I'd get some lifting in. But I went to the gym because I knew that's where I had to get my physical exercise. If I didn't, then I was not going to stay in very good shape. And when I did take that couple years off, that's exactly what happened. I got in a very poor shape. And one day I looked in the mirror and I said, I'm not accepting that. I am better than that. And I made those steps to get back into lifting at home. And within about six months, I was back in the shape I originally was in. And then I started getting uh, stronger and all that. The thing of it is, it's, it's always a uh, battle. It's always adjustments. It's always rediscovering things that you did. Right now, I'm not spending as long working out as I would like to. But having a full-time job and having other things to do around the house, it 
it is what it is. I'm trying to still squeeze in, even if I squeeze in an extra 10 minutes, that's, you know, a new exercise and three sets. So I'm trying to get more of that and less of sitting around. Cloudy day today, so I did my live stream earlier, which it seemed like a lot of you missed. I went through StreamYard, and I'm wondering if that just did not send a notification out because every time I do StreamYard, it doesn't seem to be. Uh, I only had three of my subscribers show up, which is kind of poor even for me. But I've been just timing that, but uh, I don't stream StreamYard that often. But it is a nice way to have some subscribers to join in the chat and get uh, a little bit more camaraderie going on, things like that. But that'll probably be something I only do once a month. Otherwise, regular live streams, I think three days a week is plenty. It seems out my workout videos tend to get the most attention. So it kind of makes sense to go that direction. Uh, the shorts are just to bring new views in. And hopefully the new views get you new subscribers. And uh, right now, the, the channel's doing okay. I mean, YouTube made some changes. That pays us a lot less. They said, oh, no, we didn't. Yeah, you did. You used to be kind of decent doing this channel with the type of views I got. You know, I was making a couple hundred bucks a month, and now I'm lucky. Thanks, Car, for pulling out in front of me. Ramming speed. I'm lucky to they'll get a hundred uh, and that's just there they made the changes obviously I'm not doing it for the money because the, you figure the amount of hours I put into it versus what I get out monetary wise is not a very good payout but when I have people say hey I just got done my morning workout I just got done this I just got done this you know I'm now going back into the gym I'm now doing yoga because of you I'm now eating better because of you that's where it really uh, the value is, you know. But you know, just like anything, I have to to life. I have to sit there and determine how much time I can spend doing this, or can I spend time doing other things that would help out my personal life better. So, obviously, the one thing that keeps me going to the gym instead of going in early and getting extra, you know, extra pay is the gym time. Very expensive, or it's very important to me. So it's important that I get into the gym, it's important that I lift, it's important that I feel a certain way, you know, and it's important for my physical health and for my mental health and well-being, and that's why I do it. And when I get other people to do the same thing and we kind of share our experiences, I think that's a good thing. But, if you want to help out the channel, you can buy me a protein shake on PayPal, or you can do a super chat, or you can become a member become one of the Highlanders, and I am going to design a shirt just for that. Now, I'll have my daughter probably put it up on her SD shop, so anybody can buy them, but it is really designed for those who have decided to join the membership. That definitely helps my channel because it's consistent, and those who are always buying me a protein shake, you know, once a month, that definitely is consistent and helps my channel out also. And I do appreciate it. Right now, I'm just uh, a little over 11,000 subscribers. I had a giveaway when I hit 10, and I said I'd do another giveaway when I hit 15. Knowing that's probably going to take about a year. I watched one creator hit 10, and they said the next one's going to be 50. <laughs> no. Boy, that takes a long time. It depends on your content, too, but you know, the natural thing. Going from 10,000 to 50,000 subs is a long journey, you know, for some of us. And those are the ones that have, you know, hundreds of thousands or a million subscribers in that either are doing something that's a little bit more, uh, grabs your attention, a little more controversial than physical fitness. But that's what my, my thing is about. Uh, I had to watch Dan Bell compete over in Ireland. I think he did a great job. He did go for the win. He missed his last lift. Probably if he would have played a little safer, he could have got in the podium. But I don't blame him for going. You know? No guts, no glory, as they say. If he would have got
got it, definitely would have been bragging rights. So, you know, sometimes it's okay to play it smart, and sometimes you just need to say, hey, let's go for it. So I really uh, like to be able to watch him. I did share that on my uh, channel. You can go back there and watch it. There are some very strong individuals there, are definitely the best of the best in the powerlifting community. And uh, things like that definitely motivate me to keep in shape. Because, I mean, I ask, you know, it's, it's a lot easier just to take the, the lazy path. That's why 97% of the people do. If you're going in the gym, regardless of what you're doing, if you're taking walks and hikes, yoga, then you're, you're in the 3%. About 3% of the people do physical activities on a regular basis. Wasn't always that way, but uh, there's a lot of distractions. You gotta try to control the distractions. I was talking to my boy about that. You know, he plays a lot of games. I just told him, so the games are, are, are a good distraction every now and then, but they shouldn't be your main thing during the day. That shouldn't be the where you spend. If you're spending more than two hours on a game a day, Spending two hours a day, you got a problem. It's not reality. I I play about 45 minutes once a week, maybe once every two weeks. Just to kind of let loose and have a little fun. I did that early this morning. Fall out three, went out to Evergreen Grill, Evergreen Mills, got the barber bottle head, and I was done. Yeah, it was nice to get a little distraction. Because you do need that sometimes, but then right away it's like, okay, my live stream's starting. Let's cook breakfast. I had French toast. I like that. So when I go to the store today, I won't buy some bread because we are out of bread. Now, I try to limit how much bread I eat because that's true of any bread. But it was nice having something different than just bacon and eggs. Of course, I did have bacon and eggs. The eggs were in the French toast, but it did make it a little different. Change it up. That's some good pure maple syrup. So, folks, we're getting ready to head to the gym. It's going to be a rough day. Hopefully, I'll survive it. And I'll get those posted up later. This one I'll try to post uh, while I'm at the gym. Because I do have a good signal here. This may not have the description in there that I want, but such is life. Hopefully, I've got some people there to talk to. It is kind of nice when you have two or three people they're lifting around you don't necessarily have to be able to say lift you do but it does help you and if you are doing the same lift if you do get you know two or three people in the same exercise i think everybody does better everybody does an extra rep or everybody does an extra five pounds because it's really it's, it's easier to get motivated now the problem is the time by day that i'm going in is not a very busy time and uh <coughs> You know, Drew and, and uh, Kevin do similar exercises I do. Uh, Josh does more of the bodybuilder exercise, and I do pay attention to him. And he's the reason I'm cutting back on milk, and we're going to see what happens there. I'm also trying to drink more water, less Gatorade. Or if it is Gatorade, it's the Gatorade Zero. I'm trying to cut my calories there also. The sugar calories are never good. And I was drinking that one drink Celsius, because now I remember what it was. And oh my God. It's, it's got way too much caffeine and terpene in there. It was really messing me up, so I can't drink that anymore. So I gotta find something else that will give me some B vitamins and things like that, but won't sit there and wire me up. So remember, rest nutrition, proper exercise, make the drive to the gym, walk into the gym, you will work out. I just went through a red light, I don't know why I did that. Hopefully there's no cops around. <laughs> and we'll, we'll try not to do that again. All right, everybody be careful.